Hi everyone, this is Mohamed Sharuk and in this tutorial of Stat Pro, we are going to solve a problem based on simply supported beam and will manually verify whether the bending moment value and shear force value calculated by Stat Pro matches with the manual calculation. So let's start. So here we have the question. We have a simply supported beam which is carrying a series of secondary beam each imposing a point load of 4 kN. Now if you see the dimension, the total length of the beam is 3.6 meter or 3600 millimeter and there are 5 secondary beams kept at a distance of 600 millimeter each which are each beam imposing a load of 4 kN. Now, the calculation, manual calculation for the shear force ending and the bending moment is already being done here. So if you can see, the shear force calculated is around 10 kN and the maximum bending moment is 10.8 kN meter. Now let's verify this value with StatPro. So to start, we'll start with StatPro, we'll start a new project. Select space, we'll give a final name, simply supported beam, units will keep it meter, click next, use add beams option, finish. As you can see, the total length of our beam is 3.6 meter, so let's model it. To create uh, the 3.6 meter beam, let's close this one and let's create the first node that is 000. Let's create the second node in which the x value will be 3.6 and y and z value will be 0. So we have our two nodes. If you want to know the node number, you can press Shift N. So you can see the node number 1 and node number 2. Now we'll use add beam option and then we'll select node number 1 and then select node number 2. So once our beam is created, we'll add a cross section to it. Let's go to general, define, rectangle. Let's take the cross section as 0.4 by 0.2 meter add it, select the cross section and then assign it to view. Once the cross section is assigned, you can verify it in render view. After the cross section, let's assign the support. Since it is a simply supported beam, so the first support will be pin support, select pin support, add it. Second support will be roller support. To create the roller support, let's go to enforce but check mark fx, mx, my, mz, and fz except f5. Add it. Now let's assign them to their particular nodes. So let's assign pin support to node number one. Let's select use cursor assign. Let's select the roller support and use cursor to assign again and select here. Now once the supports are assigned, we'll add the loads. So to, to add the loads, we'll go for load and definition, load case detail, add it. Let's select, let's consider right now this loads to be under live load. Add it. So our load category is created. Now under this load category, we will add the respective loads. So if you see, we have to create five loads uh, which is depicting secondary beams and each load will be of 4 kN at a distance of 600 mm each. So select live load and click add. Since it should be a member load, let's go to member load. Under member load, it should act as a concentrated force. Select concentrated force. Value should be minus 4 because it's directing downwards. D1, the first load will be 0.6 meter from the start, add it, second will be 
add 0.6 more to it 1.2 third will be 1.8 fourth will be 2.4 our fifth load will be 3 meters and add it once all the loads are created we'll assign them to the beam we'll use assign to view select the second one assign to view select the third load assign to view and the last one once these loads are assigned we can recheck we created the geometry which is 3.6 meter we created the cross section we added the support and we added the load so our pre-processing is done let's go and do the analysis let's go for analysis print select all click add close it go for analyze and run the analysis So we have zero error, so we can proceed with the post-processing. Click done. Now, to check the bending moment and shear force diagram, we have one way to go to post-processing, but today I'll show you the new way that is, you can just double click on the beam element, go for the shear bending option. In the bending, you can see right now bending along the Z direction, which is minus 10.80. This is the maximum bending moment. So let's verify whether it matches with our manual calculation or not. Perfect. So with our manual calculation, the maximum bending moment is 10.8 kilonewton meter. And here also we are getting minus 10.80 kilonewton meter. Let's verify now the shear force, maximum shear force coming along Y. So you can see in both the ends we have we have positive 10 and another one we have negative 10. Let's verify it again here. Perfect. We have 10 kilonewton here and on the other end we have 10 kilonewton in the negative direction. So here you can see our both the uh, both the values matches with the value of uh, start pro as well as the value of math calculation matches together. Thank you for watching this tutorial. See you in my next session.